Hey there, Dr. Andre Pinesett, the pre-med productivity expert, and I hope I don't look as tired as I feel. I've been up all night, so it's a tail end of my shift here, uh, the crack of dawn this morning. Um, and so <laughs> before I get off work here, I'm gonna shoot a couple of uh, these videos for you guys. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about three important considerations that you should think about before you make the leap from nursing to medical school. It's two entirely vastly different worlds. So you wanna make sure that you're making the right decision because the grass can often look greener on one side, but it's not. So in this video, you're gonna learn these three considerations, three plus considerations that you need to think about before you make that transition to know if it's right for you or not. Before we get to that, I wanna introduce myself for those people, if it's your first time joining me, or if it's not your first time joining me, it's always nice to know who you're talking to. This is Dr. Andre Pine. So like I said, I'm the pre-med productivity expert, but I work with people in all fields. I'm a productivity expert, I'm a studying expert, and I'm a medical school admissions expert. I can help you be more productive, study better, and get into medical school. And I can do it all at an affordable price, either here on my YouTube channel or on my website, premedproductivity.com, where I offer pre-med advice you can trust at a price you can afford. That simple. So today's video, um, is part of my nursing series. Um, and if you haven't checked out the other videos, you can check those out. The first one was entitled, Should <clears throat> You Go From, uh, Should You Do Nursing Before Medical School? So it's for people who are planning to go to medical school, but are doing nursing in the meantime. So it talks about the student nurse going into medicine. I also have another video that talks about how to successfully transition from nursing to medical school. Um, and that's another video, and you can see both the links to those videos in the description box below to check those out. For this video, I'm gonna be talking specifically about what should you think about? Is it a good move for you as a nurse going to medicine? And the first and most important consideration I would say is, are you ready for the financial aspect of it? And does the finances, do the finances make sense for you. When I say that, what I mean is, is you are a nurse making a reasonable salary, or you will make a reasonable salary as a nurse. And now you're signing yourself up for four to eight years of very low income or no income and actually debt acquisition in exchange. And this can be difficult if you have lots of responsibilities. So does it make sense for you? If you've got kids to support you, a mortgage, all these things, does it really make sense for you to switch to medicine and lose out on all those years of income? Plus, then once you become a doctor, now you've pushed this timeline back. So if you're a nurse and you're 50 right now, and you go pre-med, you go through medical school, by the time you start making money from that being a doctor, you'll be in your early 60s. Do you really wanna do that? Do you wanna potentially lose your nursing pension you've been working for, all those kind of things? So think, does it make sense from a financial aspect for me to make that switch? Because it's easy to say, oh, I can make $200,000, $300,000. Yes, but you're gonna lose out on eight years of income of your nursing income. Does it make sense? Plus the couple hundred thousand dollars in debt, right? Because the average debt is close to $200,000 for medical school, but that's understated because a lot of people who go to medical school have their parents paying their tuition. So it artificially pulls that number down. That's the first thing. The second consideration is ask yourself why you're actually switching. And one of the most common reasons that people switch is because they see the physician as the leader of the healthcare team. And so they don't want to be the nurse who has to wait for the order from the doctor. They want to be the one making the clinical decisions. Instead of administering the medication or administering the treatment, they want to be the ones deciding and dictating the treatment and uh, the protocols. And that's a totally valid reason to switch. But my question to you is, do you really need that? Because with that comes a lot more responsibility than what you currently carry. And you may not want that extra responsibility that comes with that. You may not want the extra paperwork, the extra hassle, all these other things that come with it that you don't necessarily think about. Because as a doctor, I know when I'm trying to do a treatment plan, I get pushback sometimes from the patient, from the family, even from the nursing staff about that treatment. And as a nurse, you don't have to take gruff or anything because you're just being directed to do that order. So it's, it's a little more flexibility in that. And so are you ready for that? The other part of this is that a lot of nurses feel like, oh, I want that leadership role. But what I would ask you is, do you need a clinical leadership role or would you be okay with another type of leadership role that is less directly clinical? And what I mean by that is there are plenty of nursing supervisor roles 
for you that you can fill when you move and get your master's. You can be a clinical, right? You can, you can run the unit. You can do whatever. You can be the nursing supervisor. And so you can have a leadership role where you're not delivering so much care directly, but you're helping the nurses and supporting them in delivering their care efficiently. And so there's leadership there. There's also leadership in terms of all the different committees and boards and, and different um, co like commissions. There's tons of nurses on those uh, leadership boards and you can be a leader that way, a leader of policy and a leader of thought. Um, so you don't necessarily have to be that kind of leader. The other thing is as you move through, you can go get your master's, you can get your PhD, you can do other things, you can become a teacher in nursing, right? You can be giving back and being a leader in that way. So there's lots of leadership opportunities that don't necessarily include medicine, so it's just something to think about. Um, the other thing is that you have to think about is, do you wanna give up the current flexibility you have? And this is what's really changed in medicine over the last 15 years, is that medicine used to have a lot more flexibility in it. You would hear about doctors on golf every Wednesday and those kind of things. And now that's becoming more of a rarity because medicine has become corporatized. And so because of that, um, these physicians who used to have lots of flexibility to go golfing and do whatever are now more limited in their schedule. And so they're beholden to shareholders, beholden to corporations, beholden to hospital administration. And so they, what is expected as normal full-time for a doctor has been beefed up. So doctors are working longer hours for lower pay. As a nurse, you're in a union, you're protected, and most nurses work three days a week, four days a week, and that's considered full-time. And what that allows you to do is either work part-time, which is great, full-time, but part-time, with your benefits, all that kind of stuff, or you can even get a second job and make double the amount of money. Whereas a physician, you can't do that, and you're expected to work much longer hours. So you'll be giving up flexibility if you go into medicine. So it's something to, it's, it's something to think about. Uh, the other thing is that you're unionized as a nurse, and so you have more protection over your rights, your benefits, your benefit pensions, than all these things. And actually recently at my hospital, the nurses did a sympathy strike. So there was a hospital <laughs> uh, that was mistreating its uh, staff and its nurses, and so the nurses all band together at all the UC campuses, and they all struck in sympathy of this health system. And it ended up getting those other nurses the benefits they wanted and secured their pensions, and that's the show of force of a union. And as a physician, you don't have that same leveraging power. So sometimes you can get taken advantage of in the healthcare equation. So um, the other thing is you have to think about what specialty you want to go into in medicine. I think a lot of times nurses say they don't want to be the front line or they don't want to be the person taking orders. They want to dictate care. Uh, but there's other opportunities in nursing. And a lot of young nursing students don't realize this, but you can go be a nurse practitioner and you can dictate care in all sorts of specialties. And we have nurse practitioners who work as, as uh, delivering babies, who work in the uh, gynecological offices. We have nurses, nurse practitioners who work in our ICU, doing ICU level care, putting in lines, making critical uh, patient uh, decisions. We have neurocritical care uh, nurse practitioners. So they work in the neurocritical care ICU with the sickest strokes, uh, trauma accident patients, doing all these incredible things. We also have nurse practitioners who work in the cardiac surgery rooms, who are cardiac surgeons. We have nurse practitioners who work in plastic surgery. We have nurses, nurse practitioners who work in dermatology in all these fields. So it could be a faster route to you becoming more of that, that primary uh, decision maker for care, even though you have to you know, kick it up to a, 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 a medical doctor to oversee you, but you're making decisions on the ground. So you can go in, it's a much faster route to go get your nurse practitioners um, training rather than going through medical school, residency, and all the things it requires to become a medical doctor. So just something to think about because you can become a nurse practitioner that works in a cardiac surgery room much faster than it would take you to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. So it's a time thing. So if all these things make sense to you, if you're still saying, you know what, I want to do nursing, then nursing may very well, or sorry, medicine may very well be for you. But just think about it, because the grass is not always greener on the other side, and medicine is hugely changing, but nurses, because they're unionized and because they're smart people as a whole, they've protected themselves, and so the shifts don't tend to drastically negatively impact nurses the same way it does with physicians. And this is just, again, my opinion and what I've observed and what I've read and I've seen is that physicians don't advocate for themselves well. Nurses do a great job of advocating. And as a result, when stuff comes down, doctors tend to lose ground and nurses tend to gain ground. It's not a competition, but nurses gain ground in their field and doctors lose ground in their field just because of the way it shakes out. 
So if you enjoyed this video, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep coming back. Keep getting this good information and tell a friend that you really enjoyed this video by this guy, Dr. Pineset, the premium productivity expert, and you want them to check me out and learn from me. I appreciate you guys. Check out premedproductivity.com and I will see you every Sunday live, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, streaming right here on YouTube. Like, subscribe to the channel, guys. Have a great day.